In this video, we're going to look at exporting code statistics to disk. QDA minor coding information can be exported to disk, allowing you to process the data further using other applications. Various code statistics may be exported to disk in different file formats, including Excel, HTML, XML, and delimited ASCII files. To export code statistics to disk, select Project from the menu bar at the top of the screen and scroll down to Export. Choose Code Statistics from the adjacent menu. The dialog is currently set to export code occurrence statistics. You can choose other options from the drop-down menu. You can choose to export the statistics of a particular code or codes by selecting them from the drop-down menu. If you would like to export the occurrence of all codes, simply right-click your mouse and choose Select All. You can click the Preview button to see how the data will be exported. When the Multiple Dichotomous Variables option is selected, the data consists of as many variables as selected codes, with a value of 0 when absent from a case, or 1 when present. The Multiple Polynomial Variables option can store, in a smaller number of variables, numbers corresponding to the codes. A warning will appear if the number of variables is lower than the highest number of codes in a case. Let's increase the number of polynomial variables to 6. The multiple string variables option allows you to export the code names rather than the numbers. To order codes by descending frequency, select this checkbox. The Compound String Variable option stores coding data into a single alphanumeric string. You can also add to the exported data file values stored in any other variable, as well as other useful computed variables. This routine can also export coding frequency and the number of words associated with each code or a rate per thousand words, which takes into account the length of the documents. Once the proper data format has been set, click the OK button. Select the desired file format. Available formats include Stata, Excel, SPSS, TSV and CSV, as well as MS Word, HTML, and XML. Name your file. You're asked if you'd like to open the file. Select Yes. And this is the resulting Excel spreadsheet. A similar dialog box allows you to save the same information in the project as new variables. Select variables from the top of the screen and scroll down to compute. Once your options have been set and the data has been previewed, select OK. QDA Miner will ask you to confirm the creation of the new variables and overwrite existing ones, if any. And 13 new variables have been added to each case.